another failed plug slider run. I am giving up building this unit. You know, I've yeah, I'm just committed to uh, basically what I did with Shadow Siege and Vanilla. It's like I'm stopping the forcing of this. Whatever. If it, it doesn't deserve to be gilded, if I literally can't ever make it work. Anyway, um, okay, we got Void Binding, so Superfood looks potential candidate here. Let's, let's hit it. I also have Mind Collapse. It's a shitty way out of Ember Drain. In all honesty, Aggress is probably just better. But, uh, Superfood's too fun with this potential setup here. This would be nice. I don't care about Morsels. I mean, if I... You know, I'm not facing necessarily any Scourges guaranteed, but if the Rings have them, if I'm Ember Drained, this is fine. Ooh. Wouldn't want to do Sketches with Primordium. Golden Vault if it was a tournament. And, uh... But it's not, so let's do this. I don't want to hear the word tournament for weeks. Having nightmares about it currently. Just kidding. But I am really fucking salty about it. Just, uh, I don't know, I really don't like the round I... Whatever. Well, I probably bitched about that enough. Um, let's do... You should go first. I mean, it actually doesn't matter. I think the Ember Train doesn't transfer in that case. But maybe it does. So. I'm gonna go into Ember Drain anyway. The minute I find Void Binding, I'm just fucking slamming that shit. I don't even care about the pyre damage. Let us not get that apparently misplay. Sweet. Very easy play to not fuck up. Well, that was the only way that Mind Collapse doesn't kill it, but I guess we don't care that much. Let's just give you some shit. Let's give you some shit. How about that? Some shit to drink. I'm too late to stack the old Void Bindings. Binding. I always get that wrong. Hey, we're already getting value out of salve. Not really, but kind of. You know, just come on up, man. Why wait? If you're gonna shoot, shoot. Uh, nope. In this build, we ain't doing morsels, I can tell you that. Even if I find an alloy. I mean, if I find an alley, I should probably do more souls. But I can, I can probably survive if I get stalwart, just a single stack of it, or wretch, or an alloy into alloy infusion, which is pretty much guaranteed with the whole hell vent thing. Tell you what, though, I'd rather have hell hell horns. Um, I mean, ritual would be pretty good, right? It's not necessarily better than Void Binding, but it's good enough to include in the deck, I feel. Now, we all know how Branded Warrior is pretty damn good with uh, Primordium, though I will say I already have Rage to put on it. I like this one a little more if I don't have like ample Rage already. Because... I don't know, this rage could be considered win more, I might argue, but like Steelworker, this just compounds uh, armor onto itself, basically, with superfood. Especially if we end up with stalwart stacks. Um, Shadow Eater is an option as well. We'd have to go bottom, f I'd have to take a pip upgrade or go bottom floor, most likely. I don't know. I, I could intrinsic the Void Binding, I guess, and go top. That's an option. Um, I mean, it, 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 with Steelworker, I feel like the armor... Just with a single damage shield, I can let that armor stack, and the damage shield stack to a point where I'm up top fine. Like, 
The only problem with Steelworker is I need to find... I mean, there's ample options for Multi-Strike or Trample. All I gotta do is find Trample Tome, Multi-Strike Tome, or Furnace Tap, and I can make this pretty insane. But Shadow Eater is like the only one out of these that doesn't actually need those three cards. Kind of. I mean, it gets... It, it does still kind of need it, let's be honest. Like, how am I going to take out the three tank floors on Divinity? I'm kind of talking myself in a Steelworker, I feel. I feel like I've got the stacking plan. Now I could find... Uh, there's not really any Umbra Infusions I think I would like. Though I would, uh... Maybe like a ritual to be constant down. I might be able to minus two it here, but maybe I should just be going for multi-strike. Like, I may have to do like double multi-strike. It's hard to say. Well, let's see what we got. Large stone is an option. Endless isn't really. It's probably the least we want to see here. How risky do I want to be? I mean, this... Well, I could just make this the unit and put Steelworker Infusion onto it. That makes, like, a lot of sense, probably. Let's do that. That makes a lot of sense. I would do a large stone, since I already have a multi-strike. I can do, like, large stone to get some health. Or I could just do the hard stone. I mean... If I do that, I can set up mid if I need to, without taking a pip upgrade. I mean, large stone does get me a lot of extra stats, though. But, if I re-roll here, I don't get anything. If I find a mark of invasion, I think I'm still fine without the health. I feel like the, uh... Let just be smart. But let's just do this. You know what? I feel like... Greeting and not taking things usually a mistake. Get rid of stewards or planks. For now, stewards, we probably want those planks if we get the market invasion. Minus two here. Purge. I mean, I'm not gonna need these. Like, ironically, Plink's even probably better, right? I'm going on all in on one unit. I'm not going to, like, overstack a floor or anything like that. By the time... Man, the haste. It had to be haste. I think it's fine. I can Plink most of them. My armor will compound at least for a turn, and hopefully more. Okay, I got a Plink. Let's do that first. Shit, maybe not. Let's do this first. And then this. And then click. Boom. Da -da. I'll definitely be compounding armor now. Ooh. Let's do it. Let's go right into every train. I like it. Who needs Ember? So no perils that blows. It's certainly not great. I could take, I guess, a third mind collapse if I... The thing is, you can't really make hold of your mind collapse work anymore because you need so much damage on these things. So if I just get a bunch of them and upgrade them, that probably works. I don't think fortify is really good enough. I'm already just getting a fortify naturally. I don't need like an extra one. Probably should hit every Merchant of Magic up. There's just too many things I can hit on. Definitely not Shadow Box. Improved Firebox. 
I could have a pseudo ember drain prevention by rolling this into uh, what the hell is it called? Whatever the horn thing is that preserves energy. I'll still eventually lose all my ember, but at least gives me a few turns of ember drain where I'm able to play some cards depending on how much I stack. Uh, I don't even know what I would ever want to take these at this point with this game plan. Well, there is a holdover. As much as I would love to, like, double stack this, I feel like this on holdover is gonna carry me through the game up until Divinity. So, it zero cost it on holdover, basically. Probably save some gold. I I don't know that a Hellvent's right here because I do really kind of need to make a, take a shot at getting another multi strike. I don't probably need quick, but I do kind of need another multi strike if I'm not going to find Furnace Tap or One Arm Tome. Even if I find Umberstone, I probably want an extra multi strike. But with the Void Binding on Holdover in my armor, I just don't think I need quick. I wish this was the Tome event, not the Spike event. The Hellhorn one would like maybe be a consideration. I could get lucky with improved Firebox, but I don't think it's worth including in the deck for that. Probably should have Ember reduced something more, though, like re-rolled into it. I don't know, I kind of wanted to hold the gold in case I need to re-roll for Multi-Strike, though. You start top, but that doesn't actually matter, because we can just do this. As well, do that and this. Another reason I took Firebox is I just simply didn't have a need for the other ones. Like 40 health was the other consideration. I just don't foresee myself actually leaking too much for the foreseeable future. Famous last words, I know, but I don't know. That's just how I feel. Getting so much damage, even if I don't stack anything here beyond the armor. I can stack this. It's not really in my benefit to do that though. Well, I guess it is. I preserve a damage shield, I just get an extra ember drain for it, but it's not like the uh, ember drain's really gonna matter here. Let's try to get some damage in here. I could leak here. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to scale up fast enough for it. I do have the extra damage per raid, rage, though, so I think... I think I actually do fine. Man, I also didn't put plus damage in the mind collapse. That was stupid. Like, I don't know what I was doing there. Got a little ahead of myself. I should have... I, I, I meant to revisit that shop, but we all know how that turned out. See, right there, I could have played that Mind Collapse with plus damage, killed one of them, killed the rest of them, so... There's the punish, but still get through. Just take 7, 6 damage, whatever that is. Surprisingly, actually, somewhat close to dying there still. It's not... Ooh, okay, well, here we go. So, the question is, I mean, we're pretty much going into Ember Drain anyway, so Furnace Tap is probably better. This is a little more risky and harder to play. This requires less upgrades and stuff. Don't really think we would take these. Like, I was wondering if like Morsel Maker might make sense as a secondary unit, but I don't think so. Um, I have to imagine it's just draw, right?
a little sidebar going here. Let's try to keep this going though. So, quick. Eh, I just don't think so. I mean, yeah, I take a lot of hits, but I'm stacking a lot of damage shield. Well, let's see. Let's see if I'm getting stalwart. I am. So I think I'm just stacking enough damage shield that I, I don't need. Quick. So. There we go. Beautiful. It's even cheap. Thanks for being nice to me, game. I'm gonna hold this gold because I don't have a boons here. I may not get money. I may not get a collector. A lot of a lot of ways I could not spend money at this next uh, merchant. Minus two there is huge. That allows me to still void binding, still play this. Hell, I could just intrinsic that. I'm guaranteeing my. <laughs> This could go so wrong. I don't have to play it. I'm intrinsic. I'm gonna do that though. But yeah, this could go wrong. Is this a fight where it could go wrong? I feel like not. I'll even give a multi strike. If I'm stacking Furnace Tap right from the get go, I'm, I'm money. Man, I gotta say that I might have wanted quick now because the extra multi strike probably not as good as the quick. We don't have to worry about like ordering here because we're ever drained for the rest of this fight and we have no way out of it. So the only thing we'll play from here on out is void binding. Because nothing else can be played. There's the old collector 50 50 lose. I'm pretty good at doing that. Well, we better find Void Finding soon. If it's. Well, I'm guaranteed to, so. It's, of course, in the bottom six. Oh! Well, so much for no reloading. What the fuck? Thanks for being in the bottom six, bro. That's fucking sick of you to do that. I'm so glad that uh, that's what you did. Guess I shouldn't have taken multi strike. At least I can stack that. Actually, it probably gets me more damage than that multi-strike would have. Well, at least I can kill that shit now. Uh, should I just bring one of these up? I don't stack my armor then, but it might save me. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Well, note to self, I'm going to have to hell vent the uh, void binding. And I'm gonna have to really focus on removals because, yeah, fuck this shit. I don't want that happening again. I mean, really, I should just end the run because. I kind of told myself I was gonna stop reloading so much. Or re reloading at all, really. I think it's hurt my game significantly how much I've been reloading. Oh my god. So much for stacking that shit. At least I'll take them out. Gym guy, it's a smart play. I'll stack it once apparently. I won't stack it at all apparently. Actually. But I'll at least preserve a damage shield there for whatever that's worth. I think I'll be fine. I mean, my soul's crushed because I didn't think this was going to be a hard fight. I didn't think I'd have to restart it. If he kills me here, I'm just going to let it let myself die. I barely beat him actually, but man. I don't know, I feel like I need the Primordium Practice. It's been so long, actually, since I've even gotten to play one. Jack Strips is fine here. Gem Trove, if I had any Ember, would be fine. Spoiler alert, I do not. A lot of Umber cards, I just, they're just not. I, I take them so little. I would actually love a Tarasim Climb, because I'm taking Trample Damage, but how am I ever going to play it? I have ember upgrades I need to make. Like, I gotta take this down by one. I guess beyond that, I could spend two on it. I'm hitting at least two Merchant of Magic, so this one, this one, three, actually. Okay, I can take it. That's just a Divinity player right there, but it's useful otherwise. This is a good setup for us right here. I'm taking that gold. Um, 
the removals? What, what's priority here? Stewards are playing. Still stewards, I guess. Like, I don't know. I can't really consume them out because I'm ever draining and stuff. Let's see if this. I should have checked the shop. I could get an addition. I could overstack an additional health. That. After that last fight, I am not opposed to that. I have no way to heal, really. I didn't. Like, I'm not gonna get lifesteal morsels. I'm not gonna. Uh, immortal traits out of the pool now. Like, I could also just do this. That's probably better, to be honest. Like, then I'm stacking all that health, and I have leeway on my Primordium. So now, you're at 20 health. I, as long as I keep Divendi's damage under 20, I don't necessarily need a Void Binding to be drawn early. But it sure would be nice, wouldn't it? Um... Well, that's not happening. What we need to do is get things to zero cost, because I just am not getting out of Ember Drain. Ten here is a nice start, but it's not going to be enough. One of these can be on Consume Patrol, that's fine. And let's start working on this one. And let's make another removal. Uh, probably, probably Plinks, I don't know. I can still sometimes remove the those things the old-fashioned way. Okay, give me one sec. I got the sidebar going. Granted, it is actually going to cost us... Nope, Jack Strips is fine here. It just costs us like a little... It doesn't really cost us literally anything, actually. So, we've thinned the deck out a little bit. Do we do the Furnace Tap play? I mean, it's already a no reload... Or, it's already a yes reload run. So, just do it right. Okay. I don't know, who knows? I don't know. You know, I don't. That was nice, actually. Surprisingly clean. I tried my hardest there. Just gotta try hard. That's all you gotta do at this game. Like, right now, I'm not trying hard enough, actually, to find Void Binding or a Mind Collapse that I can play either of those. Uh, oh, there we go. Is that my first time actually getting a Void Binding stack? I guess I did it in the Daedalus fight, or whatever it was. That's a pretty big pickup there, actually. As much as I want to do this, it's like... Probably just this is better, right? Yeah, let's do that. And then... You don't slay or anything. You just don't play I think we're good. I got like enough damage to take on the end game with what I got right now. Take one of you out for good measure. Bring like you up. Sure.
this is, this boss has no chance. The only one that might get us would have been the uh, multi-strike, but look at all the health we've stacked. I would have lost my damage shield probably, but I've been good on health and armor even. I could, I mean, Ember Cache is a, kind of a way out too. It's like, I don't know if I need a second Furnace Tap. The first, if I'm playing the first one, it's kind of win more at that point to have another one. Uh, this makes, this costs me less to make work. Let's just do this. There's not many cards I'll add to this deck. Like, if you think about it, there's just not much more I can really add to it that adds value. Now, I think I have a Devoid Binding, I'm pretty sure. The Furnace Tap would be the greediest one, but... I gotta think that it's Void Binding is the safe one here. And uh, I'm gonna do it before I even look at the other thing, so I don't get tempted to, like, not do the smart thing here. Spell Chain. If I had a Perils on Holdover, that sure would be great. I could Spell Chain this. I could also Spell Chain a Mind Collapse. Maybe that works. This technically makes it do 10 into 7, 17 damage. But it all, that kills actually a lot of things. Let's do it. And uh, we'll put this on this one. Now we just need extra damage on that piercing one. I could engage pack to... I'll do it. For me. I know I'm like salty about the tournament, but like one of the big things that no matter what I did in my one round, I wouldn't have made it because I didn't have enough shards, so like, I guess I need to practice doing dumb shit like this, like, just sacrificing units for 25 shards. See, now I can get these void bindings right from the get-go, that's pretty good. I got this from the get-go, too, interestingly enough. Not that it really matters, but, yeah, we'll do this. So that's actually nice to get both them out of the deck. Keep doing this, I can do this to play this, and then do this. Alright, we got both boat bindings, we got over 100 damage already. It's like 300 damage over. I could do this, but uh, I guess I'll do it. No reason not to, right? And let's go ahead and bring you up. Maybe I can start trying to get a flying kill or something. Oh, well, that didn't work. I guess you just actively hurt my flying kill chance there. This is a floor. I'm pretty sure I will demolish it though. I mean, I was... Well, I'll probably still get a flying kill if I can... Well, I would have had to draw like my ascend at the right time. I still could. Uh, maybe I don't play this for that, like specific reason. I don't need to play any of this, to be honest. Oh, whatever, she's just endlessly on the bottom floor, apparently. Who knows, maybe she'll come back. You never know. I guess I should draw here, then. Here, just in case there's flying kill, let's do that. And I guess this, too. You were so scared to make, come meet me. Ha ha ha. You tried to hide. Now you're fucking dead. Here, have one of these even. Fucking die. Hell no. 
armor if I didn't have damage shield would be okay. And there's just nothing that makes sense other than draw. I mean, I, maybe... No, no way Ember makes sense. And yeah, we just go over here. We can zero cost that sucker. Welcome to zero land. And we'll zero cost the other one. Do I even spend money in this? I mean, I'm gonna remove them just straight up. It's probably not worth it. So let's do that. Uh, how many divine temples? I have this one. Let's check the temple first. I'd rather have plus 30 on this. So that works. Too bad. Let's see what we do. Okay, rail hammer, maybe. Maybe does something. Maybe, but I'll take that. So this next final floor doesn't have a vortex. I could probably purge this last thing. Well, let's go to 200 shards, why don't we? It's another way to get this deck thinned out. Double draw with that thin of a deck is... I can probably take on any amount of shards, really. Um, is there anything worth permafrosting? I doubt it. I guess this... I'd rather just put the 10 there. I don't know. And we can remove this plink, because it stinks. And I'll remove this steward, because his name is Hewer. Sure, both that. So, I could just start with two damage shield. Is that worth it? I feel like no. My deck is so thin, I gotta imagine I'm getting to Void Bunny at least by turn two. Let's just go for this greed. I don't think should be tough. I got enough health initially that it should, should be fine, right? I even got the Void Binding from the get-go here, so that's amazing. I could bring... Is that even, like, worth it? Yeah, I don't think so. And now we got both. I mean, this is just so strong. Take them out and play you stuff. Sure. I mean, I'm already killing everything. I can do this. Actually, I actually did that wrong, but whatever. At this point, it's not really like plays that. Make or, make or don't break here. Um, there's just nothing really to worry about. But I'm not even gonna send that guy. Maybe just keep stacking. Oh, I had this music on too. I'm an idiot. That's probably. Well, well, hopefully, this is a watchable video. I like the uh, spell chain minecraft's not too bad. I'll be honest, I haven't really done that one before, so it's actually pretty powerful. I think we're looking at some flying kills here, fellas. Just kill them this for whatever reason, because I need them more, I guess. I mean, I hate them too. I just well spread the love. Right. Now we can do that now. 
thinking of greeting for this. I mean, I have two Ember upgrades to make. Nothing else to put them on. Greed it is. And definitely no. I mean, maybe the Imp Scholar, actually. Probably should have actually thought about the Imp Scholar. I mean, I can bring back a lot of good stuff there. Too late now. I'm still having Ink the Void Binding, though. So, it's all good on the whole Furnace Tap thing. <laughs> Nothing left to do there, permafrost. I could do it there, just so I stop drawing into it all the time. And... That to zero. Could have also double stacked it, that would have been interesting. Oddly enough, yes. I'll just take it. And you know what? Just enough if I don't like these. I could even... Oh, that doesn't actually make any sense. I could do that, but why? I'll just remove a card. Let's remove the one impling that wasn't quite as good. And Hel or, uh, Helvent Gust Avoid Binding. If I lose this, I'll just uninstall the game, because... That's wild. So we're almost always certainly starting with Void Bindings, but maybe there's some worlds where we don't. Go ahead and put that down. Oh man, we're getting some crazy stuff here. I might as well do this and that. Hold that, that's actually fine for helping with the flying kill. I buy all of that damage shield immediately. Next time we see ya, we're gonna be taking some damage. I suppose I don't need to bring it up. I'm better off just letting my stuff stack here. But what I could do is like bring that guy up. If they're all dying, then I take that guy out. Do a little bit of damage there and just take one guy out or something. Boom. What the fuck? Why is... Dude, I swear... They're afraid of getting flying killed. It's like, they'll... If, if I had a run that wasn't flying, you know, flying kill territory, Garen fucking to you, he'd be back there. Sapping my ass. Like they always fucking do. I don't get it. It doesn't matter so much, it's just... It pisses me off. It's like, dude, I want, I want to fucking kill this guy. And, uh, I gotta imagine he'll be back, so why don't we bring the tank up and get nice, big old free shots here. Alright, it is... Well, I thought it would be time for you to die. So I'll just stack here, because the next time they come, they're dead. That's not happening. Pretty close though. Ten health. <laughs> well, if I get a mind collapse, I'll kill you with mind collapse. Here, this is for being an asshole. The disrespect. Alright. I should be able to do this. So, you there, there. I guess I could just do this too. I mean, that preserves a lot. I buy damage shields, but don't worry. If you miss them, I got plenty for you. Tap. I mean, I was guaranteed to draw it, but it's like everything in the deck, basically. To be honest, I actually kind of low rolled there. Most of my priority shit was down there. 
can take you out this way. I can then take you. Nope, I can't. Fuck. Well, whatever. Yeah, I'll break your spell shields for whatever the fuck that's worth. Give a bunch of armor to that guy, because why not? I suppose I could have done it this turn if I brought them up. I didn't think I could, but I underestimated how much damage I was doing. Might as well bring... If I'm doing that much damage, let's just bring you up then. Right? How about you two? Or we can just kill you then. I could just kill you. Not really, I'm not gonna be able to even do half of my strikes here. I wish I could like move him off so I could just kill it with Primordium. Yeah, I'll give you a one of those fights. I don't remember why. Obviously because I was going to die, but I don't really remember the context. I think I did I underestimate the damage of a tank or something like that. Oh well, who knows. 70k, not bad. Uh, until next time. MVP goes to... Let's just say Primordium. I mean, f how can you pick between Void Binding and Furnace Tap? They're just the, the god tier primordium targets, but uh, definitely primordium itself gets the MVP. You started superfood, you gave me stalwart immediately, you even had the extra health. Much love to the primordium. Until next time, peace.